Now that the optimization process finished, we can analyze the results. So the first thing that we have to do is to select the experiment that we would like to analyze. And the scatter plot that we are seeing in the screen will appear with a net PNL in the Y axis and the max zero down in the X axis. And if we pass the mouse over these points, we are going to see a hoover with the information of each of the experiments. Each of these dots is a different combination of parameters. So once we pick a trial, we can pass to the next stage that will be analyzing the results in the candlesticks. So we can select one of the trials that we are looking for. The information or the configuration will be loaded from the database and once we press run back testing, we can see the results in the candlesticks. If we like this configuration and we understand that this is something that we would like to deploy, we can save the config with that button that says saying config. And then once we have all the configs, we can, we can pick one, then we can pick another one, save, I don't know, five configurations. And after that, we can go to the page that let us deploy the configurations directly. So yeah, it's as simple as that. We can optimize, analyze the results, then pick the best configuration, select them and click on deploy and that will be all deployed in one Hamibot instance. So if we click here in analyze, we can see the results of the optimization. We have pretty good results. Uh, here, for example, the ID 77, I think that this is good too. Well, for example, let's pick this one, 77. Um, let's check it here. The thing is that we have a lot of candles and sometimes when you are rendering a lot of candles, uh, this can uh, have a, a problem uh, with the UI, can be a little bit buggy. But well, it's important to understand also which are the configurations that we were using. The length of the Bollinger band was 350, the threshold to go short is 1.9, it's very high. The threshold to go long also is minus 0.2. So it's easier for this strategy to go long than short. So these are some intuitions that you can get from here. And let's say that we would like to do it from, I don't know, let's say from the last, for the last month. Uh, let's do it for here and Let's say that we are going to do this for oh, this month. So if we run the back testing here, we can see the performance. Well, as you can see, the take profit and stop loss was uh, the take profit was 0.5% and stop loss 0.2. But actually, it has uh, it it all goes by time limit and in a positive way, so it's good. If we want to make like an a deep dive, for example, here, we can go here and analyze this. The good thing that also is not included in the back testing is that the trading stop feature works really well. And if you understand how to set up the trading stop, you can also get the profits from those points. For example, if the price here goes up and you have here the, the trading stop in 1%, the position will be closed here probably. So well, uh, suppose that we like this configuration. One thing that we should do right now is to download the quantity of records. We need 350 for the Bollinger Band. So let's say that here we're going to put 500 records. This is just to optimize a little bit the, 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 running, the running bot. So when we select this, we can save this controller config. Then let's say that we also like uh, Let's say this one, two, nine, five, two, nine, five. I'm not going to run the back testing again because I just want to save some of the configs, but you should be analyzing just to make sure that this makes sense. And, and for example, this one, this is 78, so here. And okay, we're going to save this controller too. Once we save all these controllers, we can go to the last tab that is here, deploy from the backtesting manager. And you will see that we have, well, these are our other configurations that I have in the past, 
but the ones from near and the ones that I saved right now. So suppose that I want this config, this config, and this one. Here, let's put it a body near, just to put the name, this is the name of the container. And this is the image that we want to use. This uh, card is very similar to the one that we saw in the instances, but the only difference is that this is just using one of the strategies that understands how to read these configurations and start directly a bot with it. So if we create this container, this will create the, the bot. And now if we go here to instances, we should see that we have this high bot bolding near uh, running here. So, well, let's run this command to attach the bot. So as you can see, subscribe to the line, to the candles that it needs. And if we press status live, we will see that we have this uh, for each strategy and you can also deploy different strategies. This is really powerful. So here we're going to run this configuration. We have the values of the, the candles that are uh, for this specific uh, controller. This will be depending on the, on the type of the Bollinger band that it's selected, will be different or not. If we press status, we can see the three of them. So here we have 295. Here we have uh, 58. And here we have uh, 77. So, and also here you have the controller config. So we have the different configs. For example, this to go short is 1.9 and this one is 1.6 minus 0 0.2 and zero. well. So this bot is running. It will take decisions based on the indicators of the three strategies. And the best thing is that with this approach, you are not going to lead to overfitting to just pick one of the configurations of the or the best one. And you are going to trade in a more much more like consistent way. This will be like the, the performance of this should be like the average of all the strategies or the optimizations that you are deploying.